What's going on guys? It's Jordi for Shiny Studios. Me and my dollar pizza over here are on our way to Anime NYC. And we're walking by what looks like the Avengers Tower here in New York. I mean, if you want any more proof that comic book movies and comic book culture is taking over, I mean, you just gotta look at that building. Hopefully I got it in frame, I'm not even sure. But I'll show you guys a picture later. But right now, let's get to the Javis Center and I'll see you there. So just in case you guys don't know, and in case it isn't obvious because of the name, Anime NYC is an anime convention here in New York City that celebrates not only anime, manga, and comic book culture, but also Japanese culture, mainly Japanese culture. It is basically a comic con, a smaller comic con, but for, mostly for anime. It will be here all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and I will be here all weekend, here at the Jacob Javis Center in, Man in Midtown Manhattan. And I'm gonna show you guys all the interesting stuff about it. Hopefully I can record as much as possible, because this place not only is a hub for cosplayers, it also has a lot of shops, a lot of presentations and panels and some of the panels I may not be able to record. Hopefully I can sneak it in, be really sneaky as I am talking in front of a camera, but who cares. But um, I'll try to record as much as possible for you guys to show you my experience here all weekend. I'm already cosplaying, if you guys don't know who I am, I'm Saitama from the anime One Punch Man. I'll show you a, picture, a better picture later. But yeah, let's get inside because I'm over here standing at the door recording myself and I'm looking pretty weird. So yeah. Just in case you guys wonder, how is this different from something like Comic-Con, for example? Well, it is not that different. The biggest difference is that even though it happens in the same place that Comic-Con is where Comic-Con happens, it is a lot less crowded because it's a smaller convention. Not a lot of people know about it, and it, I don't think it's been going as long as Comic-Con has been going on, at least not here in New York. So, even though a lot of people don't know that much about it, there's still a lot of people here. Today, Friday, is the slowest day. It's the slowest day on the panel side of things, and it's the slowest day on the people coming here side of things, because a lot of people are still at work, a lot of people are still traveling, still dealing with hotels and stuff like that. So it might be a lot easier to just traverse, to just walk around and see what we got. There's a lot of cool cosplayers here. I'm going to take some pictures if, I, if they let me. And I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that's over here. Hopefully I have enough camera space and a lot of battery because it should be fun. So this is the shopping area. As you guys can see, it's the same area that they have for New York Comic Con, but there is a lot more empty space just because there's not that many people. And there's probably not that many shops either. 
but in the shop ratio compared to Comic-Con is very similar, but in the people ratio compared to Comic-Con is a lot different. You have a lot more space. If this was New York Comic-Con, I'd be bumping into people already. But yeah, let's check some things out. Let's see if I can find some cool stuff to show you guys. Some cool stuff to buy if I can afford them. And yeah, catch you guys in a minute. This is interesting. Is this some sort of basketball competition? Yo, because I might sign just into just that. Frame of us to like Let's find us. out. Okay, so apparently the basketball game right here is for an anime subscription service. I believe it's called High Dive, as you guys can see over there. I think it's an anime thing because they are just advertising anime. It might just be because it's here at Anime NYC, obviously. But I'll check it out when I get home today and I'll come back because they're telling me I got to sign up for the free trial in order to play. So I'll check it at home, see what it's like and I'll come back. So I'm going to set myself a mission here today. Since, since I am dressed as Saitama from One Punch Man, I need to find my disciple. I need to find Janus the demon cyborg or however they call him in the show I need to find me either a Funko or a plushie and it's getting really loud here but that's my mission today I need to find something with Genos on it and show you guys let's do it Never, never in my life, I thought I was going to hear them both in a freaking Japanese anime convention. They got freaking them both. You got to be kidding me, bro. I might be, I might have to cut this out or I don't know what I'm going to do to put this on YouTube because we, won't, we might get copyrighted for it. But this, this shit is hilarious. So this little booklet that I showed you guys earlier has the information for all the panels and all this stuff and information for other people that are going to be there. Like for example, here are some of the people that are going to be here. It's Poppy, who I think was supposed to be here today, but I wasn't able to make it to her thing. Uh, there's Amanda Miller, the voice of Boruto. Here's the English voice of Saitama, who I'm cosplaying as, Max Middle, middle Man. Ray Chase, who snuck this in Final Fantasy XV, and this thing is coming out of focus. Uh, here are some of the panels for today. As you can see, they let them out in order of time and the room that they are happening at. I'm looking forward to this one the New Japan Pro Wrestling one. I'm not sure what they're gonna do there. It would be really fun if it's an actual New Japan Pro Wrestling show in there. But we'll find out that it's at 4.30. It's a little earlier. I, I haven't seen what time it is right now, but I'm pretty sure it's not 4 yet. 
but as you can see they have way more on Saturday and this thing keeps coming out of focus but yeah they have way more on Saturday and uh, I guess they skipped the Sunday one no they didn't skip it it's just an advertisement it's right here and the Sunday one they have less because it's the last day so really when if you really want to come I recommend you guys Funkos now let's see if I can find Jenna somewhere around here there's some Dragon Ball C ones it's Frieza and Jiren Spider-Man My Hero Academia some really cool stuff like all kinds of all mites got the one with the suit the one with the superhero suit got all for one Midoriya Endeavor got much much more now let's find Dennis I forgot to tell you guys, right next to the shopping area, there's another shopping area, but this one is more for like artists who like draw and make their own designs and stuff. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, hold on. what I found. I cannot be dressed as Saitama and not do this. Oh, and there's my game over there too. One Punch Man. It's coming out soon. I should check it out. So of course, since I'm pretty bad, I lost. And he's gonna hit the punching bag for me. Cause... Here we go. Bam! Oh. Nice. That's dope. So not only there's the One Punch Man game, but there's a One Piece game, a Sword Art Online game, a Tokyo Ghoul game, and My Hero Academia, My Heroes One Justice 2. So if you guys want to play that, show up at anime nyc if you want to play it before anyone else so this spot right here is pretty loud because as you guys can see there's a bunch of like dance dance revolution type arcade here and there's a bunch more other arcade games back there where i'm gonna get right now in a second hold on
guys so let me do a quick rundown of the few things that I got on day one in this beautiful Sailor Moon bag I have chapter one and chapter two of the Dr. Stone manga it only cost me $15 and with the purchase of it it came not with this poster but with this poster this beautiful poster and then for ten dollars i got this beautiful manga panel from one punch man because of course if i'm gonna be cosplaying one punch man i have to get me some one punch man stuff so that's all about 25 dollars in there i say it's pretty good because if you go somewhere else one of these will cost you like 10 bucks unless you get it like on Amazon or somewhere like that. But then if you get it on Amazon, unless you have Amazon Prime, you have to pay for shipping. So that will be like $10 anyway. So I say I saved me like five bucks per manga. And then on this other thing, hold on, I'll be right back. On this other bag, I have a nice big figure of Mr. Prince of all Saiyans, all five of them, or how many of them are they? Not counting the ones from other universe. Anyways, the Prince of all Saiyans, Mr. Vegeta himself, and a big boy here that I'm having trouble taking out with one hand. But that's Mr. Goku Black right there. And I just messed up the video because I turned it around. Anyways, Mr. Goku Black, you can barely see it because of all the protection that they put on it. But it should look something like this. Oh, there you go. Something like that. And both of these cost about 30 something or $40. I don't remember. But yeah, it's a pretty good a pretty good price I mean honestly you could still buy this online you don't have to come to the convention you could probably just buy it on the Van Presto website here and it'll probably be somewhere around the same price but they look cool and I was in the spirit of getting anime stuff so I still got them but yeah that's most of that's all the stuff I got today I might get some stuff tomorrow or on Sunday, not sure because I'm very short on money, but yeah, I just thought it was nice to show you guys. So I don't know how much you guys can hear me right now because I don't have my headset on, but I'm supposed to be cosplaying as like Yagami from Death Note, as you guys can see. I look really funny with this wig. I've never wore a wig in my life before, even though I'm bald. But yeah. And then there's Kat with Uravaka from My Hero Academia. <laughs> See you later. guys not only did I completed my mission by finding Misa Amane but I also found a Ryuk I found the Shinigami I took a picture with him I took a picture of him and I'll show you guys in a minute right after this but if I find L today I can come I can 100% my mission for the day and that would be awesome even if it's not him and oh my god the hair's getting my eyes even if it's not him 
but like a toy, like a Funko Pop or anything. That would be so awesome, guys. Let's let's keep trying, okay? And this is getting pretty cool right now. I just, I'm gonna show you something real quick that looks cool too. Hold on. Guys, how was the PR experience of Japan? Can you speak a little louder? It was cool. And can you speak for her since she got a yeah, real she, problem? She like this, is cool, so, no, 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 no. What exactly was cool about it? Well, it kind of showed you kind of like the landscape of Japan, like kind of like in the old days, something like related to the tradition as well. Okay. Anything else you want to add? <laughs> so. There you have it, guys. If you're an anime NYC, check out the Japan artistic experience VR or something. I already showed what it looks like. It looks like, and yeah. <laughs> So that's gonna be all from me for Anime NYC Day 2. Uh, check back with you guys for Day 3. For you it's gonna be in a little bit, but for me it's gonna be tomorrow. I still don't know what I'm cosplaying tomorrow. I might not cosplay at all and just focus on looking for cool stuff to put here or looking for stuff to buy for myself. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so we are here on the final day of Anime NYC. As you guys can see, I'm getting ready to find my friends. Today I didn't bring a new cosplay. I'm still gonna wear the Light Yagami costume, but we'll see if I can find anything new and I'll let you know.
all right guys so i'm finally home back from anime nyc 2019 um i had a ton of fun throughout the weekend i'm super tired i took a lot of videos for you guys and i took a lot of pictures for you guys some of which are gonna be on this blog and some of which are gonna be on my instagram page the link should be on the description um overall i thought it was a pretty great con however last year i had a lot more fun with the panels on it i feel like the panels from last year were a lot better than the ones from this year i mean i didn't go to many of them this year because i just simply wasn't interested in them they didn't have a lot of interesting ones i believe last year they had some full metal alchemist stuff they had some naruto stuff they had some um uh, fairy tale stuff which was actually a ton of fun um, but this year they I think they only had Dr. Stone they had some Naruto things which I missed because I was so busy taking pictures and stuff and um but yeah like the panels I didn't enjoy that much but everything else was great I bought a ton of stuff that I some of which I already showed you um, I'm broke I should probably go save some money now uh, but yeah overall I had a ton of fun the cosplayers this year my god you guys are gonna see some I mean you guys already saw some of them on the video obviously when when this is edited and it's all put together you obviously already saw it but man they oh my nose is runny but yeah the cosplayers this year were amazing they did a fantastic everyone did a fantastic job with the cosplays i did a lot better than last year last year i, I think i only did like a, a, a very ha half hazard a, a, a very lazy attempt at a uh, attack on titan character which i believe is already posted on my Instagram again link in the description but yeah overall the convention was pretty fun I really recommend it to you guys I recommend oh my god my nose won't stop running I recommend that if you guys want to check it out I recommend you guys to get the whole weekend pass is I mean it's gonna be a lot cheaper anyways because for example a pass for one day is only like it's, it's like $45 if you get it early and they get more expensive at the, as the as it gets closer to the con but um if you buy it early it's like $40 $45 for one day and then for the whole weekend it's like 60 to 65 and then it goes up to like 70 or something like that so you get a lot better value getting the weekend pass and if you can't go they the whole weekend you can always give it to someone else it's not like comic-con where they scan your your ticket this one you just have to show it so basically if you can't make it on any of the other days that you bought you could just give it to one of your friends and they can also go but yeah anime nyc 2019 was really fun i'm looking forward to next year hopefully next year there's some better panels because I, I really missed going to the panels this year because a lot of them like I said I wasn't very interested in them but yeah Anime NYC 2019 was a lot of fun looking forward to next year and I hope you guys like the blog I'll see you guys in the comment if you want to comment about anything let me know if you saw anything you like um, check out my Instagram for more and like and subscribe for more videos from shiny studios and peace out everyone